this video, I will be giving you an inside look into the retail company Gap Incorporated. The purpose of this video is to give you a clear understanding of the organization and the challenges they face in one of the most competitive markets in the world. Gap Incorporated was founded in 1969 and is headquartered in San Francisco. Gap is a popular retailer providing clothing, accessories, and personal care products, with about 136,000 employees and about 3,100 company-operated stores and 300 franchise stores, our presence is felt around the world. Gap Incorporated consists of the brands The Gap, Old Navy, Banana Republic, Piper Lime, and Athleta. Gap also has its own retail outlets called Gap Body, Gap Kids and Baby Gap. Gap operates from a hybrid divisional structure by geographical region and by product. This helps them be more efficient and effective in the market. One of the key divisions is the external environment. This represents the opportunities and threats affecting the Gap. We will start with the opportunities. Gap Incorporated faces many demographic and economic issues. One is the rise of disposable household income which shows consumers are recovering from the recession and have more of an incentive to return to the retail market. Another is the rising demand for more organic or green products. In 2008, Banana Republic introduced products featuring organic cotton and other sustainable fibers. They believe that it allows them to innovate, create value for their business, and meet the expectations of their customers, employees, and shareholders. Next we should examine the external threats. One key threat is high unemployment and cost of living due to the recession. If consumers don't have money to buy their products it will cause a decline in sales, costs will go up, and this would definitely be bad for businesses, not just the gap. One threat of the external environment that was interesting to me was the effect that the increased cost of natural gas and oil can have on the company. These costs can affect transportation costs and the price of plastic packaging the products come in. The Gap Incorporated's products are imported from global distributors, so increased costs could affect them getting their products, thus decreasing sales and consumers. The next key division is the internal environment. The internal environment examines the strengths and weaknesses that affect the company and its industry. We will first start with the key strengths. One of their biggest strengths is brand recognition. Gap Incorporated has one of the most recognizable brands in the world. Due to their brand extensions and the expansion of their product line, Gap Incorporated has seen an increase in revenues for the past year. In 2012 you saw a slight decrease in their sales, but this year they bounced back with a significant increase in 2013. Another strength is their franchising and the global market. Gap Incorporated franchise agreements with unaffiliated franchisees to operate Gap or Banana Republic brand stores worldwide. The last strength is their return to television advertising. The Gap took a four-year break from advertising on television with its very well-no commercials, since the company has started to see a significant turnaround for the Gap Incorporated. They decided it was time to return to the commercials they were once so famous for in the past. Next we will examine the key weaknesses affecting the company. One of the biggest weaknesses is the highly competitive market. There are more and more retailers joining the market every year and having to keep up with the growing trends and products can be difficult in this market. There lies another weakness, which is having less attractive, trendy clothing. Gap's product lines are less attractive to consumers who are interested in trendy clothing. Some of the weaknesses Gap Incorporated has are in the global market. One of which is their production takes place through a third party. The Gap Incorporated's clothes are manufactured overseas. If something were to happen production-wise it would be impossible for the stores to get their shipments, and then they would have no product to sell. Third-party vendors can also cause product shortage shipment delays, and increased costs. One last weakness in their over-dependence on North America because they account for 83.6% of their revenues. Next we will address two challenges facing the Gap Incorporated and some alternatives to help the company combat those challenges. One challenge the Gap faces is competing with the competitors in one of the biggest industries in the world. Some of their biggest competitors are Abercrombie and Fitch. 
Urban Outfitters, and American Eagle, this challenge really ties into the biggest challenge facing the company. The biggest challenge is its public persona as a failing company, while the gap has seen a rise in sales and profit margin lately people in the industry are still not convinced that the gap has returned to the success it once had, that rise follows several years of sales declines caused by some bad fashion bets at a time when consumer spending was off. In 2010, Gap launched several strategic plans that led to store closings in North America a revamp of inventory management and rekindling its fashion mojo both online and off. Although the revamp has increased sales, the industry insiders still aren't convinced the Gap can still compete in the market. The Gap is never going to be able to return to form it once had if everyone loses faith in them. If the industry itself loses faith, then how long until the consumers lose faith? Next we will take those issues and develop a few SWOT alternatives to combat those challenges. One alternative is to have sales or promotional for consumers, to help appeal to all consumer age groups they need to come up with creative ways to appeal to all age groups. The next alternative is to create a trendy clothing line for consumers, with age groups on the rise. Gap Incorporated should create a creative team to keep up with the continuing trends in the fashion industry, so continuing production can be on trend. My recommendation for combating these challenges is the Gap really needs to step up its competitive strategy to compete in this market, they need to evolve like its competitors in order to keep its status in the world retail market.